There's a new power scheme in Windows 10 called Ultimate Performance. This mode is designed to give an extra boost to high performance systems. However, this is not visible by default except on workstations and servers, so you do have to enable it first. You need to check first what version of Windows 10 you have. Click on the stop button in the bottom left corner and just type WinVER, hit enter. What you want to see on this screen is that Windows is at least version 1803 because that is when Microsoft introduced that particular power scheme. If you're not at 1803 or higher, you will not have this option. What is the ultimate performance power plan? It eliminates the polling of hardware. In other words, it removes any micro latency to see if it needs more juice. Specifically, the following changes are made to your system. The hard drive is never turned off. It sets Java timer frequency to maximum performance. Wireless adapter settings are set to maximum performance. It turns off sleep mode for the hard disk. Hibernation is turned off. It sets processor power management to 100%. The display will turn off after only 15 minutes of non-activity and the quality of video playback is optimized. So a lot of people will see significant improvement in performance. So how do you know if you have this plan? Click on your start and begin by typing control panel. Once it pops up in the screen here, click on it to open it. And if you do not see this view of the control panel, on the right hand side under view by, change it to small icons or large icons, then look for power options in this list. If your options are grayed out, there is a check at the top here, change settings that are currently unavailable. You can click on that and then all of these settings become available for you to modify. Under hide additional power plans, if that's hidden, some computers you will see the ultimate performance mode listed here. But if it's not there, that means it hasn't been enabled on your system, but you can enable it. So how do you do that? Well, to do that, we need to run an admin command prompt. So click on start, type CMD, when you see command prompt pop up, right click, run as administrator. And in this box that pops up on your screen, this is the command that you want to type. Power config minus duplicate scheme space and then a GUID which you see on the screen right now. Once you hit enter, you'll see it tells you that the power scheme ultimate performance has been added. So if we go back into our control panel, power options. Now you'll see under additional plans here, we have an ultimate performance. If we check this off, now here's something to keep in mind if you want to delete the plan afterwards. If it's currently selected, bring up your command prompt again. And in this screen, you can type power CFG forward slash L to list the power schemes. And you'll see the one with an asterisk next to it is the currently active power scheme on your computer. So if we wanted to delete it, we could not at this stage because it's active. So go back into your control panel, power options, change your scheme to something else. Now on the command prompt here, when we list the power schemes that are on this computer and you want to delete it afterwards if you find that this doesn't suit your need, or if you have a battery like a laptop and you suddenly found out that your battery lasts maybe 20 to 30 minutes, which it could well do so if you enable this particular power scheme. Desktop computers don't have that problem, but just keep this in mind. If you have a laptop, you will experience very, very low battery performance. So keep that in mind if you want to use this. So to delete it, you do power config, space forward slash D space. And then we want to copy this particular GUID. Right click on it to copy, paste, enter. And you'll see it doesn't come up with any prompts, but I know it's been deleted. If we close down this screen, we go into power options. And now you'll see that particular power plan has been deleted. So if you did find that it wasn't suiting your needs, you can certainly delete it and get rid of it. But this is how if you have a desktop computer and you want to eke out just a little bit more performance, this is the way that you would do it. Really handy, really easy, so do make use of it. If you found this video to be of any use to you, please do take a moment to give us a thumbs up at the bottom. And above all, take care, have yourselves a fantastic day. So until the next video, see you later.